Welcome back to the Heads Up Show. I am Steve, and you are watching episode 81. We want to see your helmet pictures. That's right. Thank you so much for making this a successful series. If you want to be on this show, either tag us in your favorite source of social media with the best pictures you can, or email us your favorite pictures at pics at greengridiron.com. Lately, we've been doing it with this style where we just kind of move right along. Today's going to be no different. We're going to get to 13 or 14 of these things. So let's dive right into it. First up is Brian S. He says, my son's Vices 01 youth helmet, green gridiron face mask, oak leaf visor, and the only thing missing is the KC front and back bumpers. All right, let's see this thing. Yeah, you don't see a lot of vices at all, uh, in particular the Zero Ones. I thought they were a really, really cool looking helmet. And the placement of the decals on this thing is spot on. Decals look like a dead or angry uh, Native American Indian. They are intense looking. Those feathers are striking. Everything is sharp. The red, white, and black combo. Now, I don't know if this is just Brian's look that he wanted or if the team all looks like this, but I am a fan. Thank you for sending in those pictures. Next up is Charles S. Oh, okay, that's cool. He said his brother recently moved to Houston for work, so he ordered this Texans helmet for the day that he left. It reminds me of him every time I see it. Well, that's really cool. He's an equipment manager for Ole Miss football. Absolutely love helmets as well as green gridiron. Well, the fact that you are an equipment manager and that you love football helmets must mean you love your job because you have your work cut out for you. And this Texans helmet is indeed looking awesome with those front and rear bumpers. I love the navy buckles on the chin strap, which is also navy. He's got a navy mask on there. The red Oakley tabs. This is a proper Texans helmet. Love the back. He upgraded by putting his own warning label on there and the Texas flag. Looking awesome, Charles. Thank you. Next up is Colby Smith. And from the looks of these pictures, they are bright and they are contrasty. And that's because he wanted to show off the either flake or hammered look of that paint. And I am okay with that. So there's a picture of just the shell, which means I'm guessing he just went and built this all together. He got the decal somewhere. Colby, this helmet is sick. I, I mean, this is fantastic. I love the conversion of the upper chin strap buckles to get away from the strap lock. He painted the valve caps. Those oversized decals look like they're laid down perfectly. Next up is Cooper. And Cooper says, hi, my name's Cooper. I'm nine years old and this is my helmet. I like this young guy, just straight to the point. He has this helmet loaded up with skull and crossbone award decals on his Fury Riddell Victor helmet. He's rocking that Green Bay gold lightweight face mask with the American flag visor. It, it, dude, for, you know, for anybody, these are good. But for nine years old, to take it upon himself to take these pictures, clean up the helmet, Take the helmet outside to show that reflective nature of the visor. You either had help with a family member or a friend, or you are just a super duper smart nine-year-old. Thank you, Cooper. I love this look. Play safe, man. Next up is Danny S. And he says, what's going on, Steve? My name is Danny. I'm 20 years old, and he's from Washington. Uh, I present to you my Julio Jones style shut air XP helmet. Thanks for the face mask visor and the awesome shirt. Well, thank you for supporting us. Let's see this helmet. Oh, hell yeah. That visor looks nuts. Good job, man. Here's another one. This guy did it all himself by just buying the little parts and components. And then he did it all. That green gridiron shirt looking proper on you, Danny. And Danny is a super fan. I recognize him. He literally is a top fan on our Facebook. He has the little diamond. Um, and we appreciate all of your support and your business, man. 
keep up the good work. Okay, next up is Evan G. And he says, hey, I'm 13 years old and I play for Walker School in Georgia. I've been watching you all for a while. Hope you like my helmet. All right. Well, thanks for checking us out, man. HD face mask. It is just such an awesome looking grill for this helmet. Oh, man, that looks proper. Love the maroon or cardinal face mask and chin strap. He's got the Under Armour sock on there. And then on the back, looks like he has a couple of war decals or maybe they are just from his program. This is a 2020 helmet that looks like it's been well worn already. So I suspect this 13-year-old young man is playing hard. Thanks, Evan. Next up is James, and he says, my name is James, and I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm 12 years old and recently ordered some accessories from y'all to upgrade my speed flex. I thought it turned out pretty cool, so I sent in some pictures. Me and my stepdad are now obsessed with watching y'all's videos. Well, nothing like bringing family together to watch some good old YouTube content. Okay, James. So far, you win the day with photos simply because this is wildly creative. You put this helmet with its blue components sitting on this crystal rock looking fantastic thing with all the lights blown out blue in the background. Really nice soft focus. You properly used portrait mode on your phone's camera. I don't know what else to say. This is just the winner. You guys did an awesome job taking these pictures. Good work. All right, next up is Robert K. And he says, hey, I'm Robert. I've been a huge fan of your show for a while. Here's some pictures of my Kansas State Shut Air XP replica, which I customized into a Dallas Cowboys helmet. Okay, man, lots of Shut XPs and lots of do-it-yourself helmets today. Let's see this guy's Cowboys helmet. Okay, the first thing I see that I love, if you're gonna do this yourself, do it right. And it looks like he did, starting with that center stripe. This is where people screw up on Cowboys helmets often. He even took the time to take the screw out, cut around it, and then put it back in. That center stripe is a big old fatty. It is not easy to lay down properly. You did a great job. There's a thing happening with those visor clips and I, I can't tell if you, maybe you made them or maybe you sanded them down and painted them. No, no, I mean, that's cool. You got a warning label on the back, American flag, NFL decal, Cowboys decal. I mean, this, this is as good as you can get for doing it yourself. Great job, Robert. Okay, next up is Kevin J. And he says, here's a pic of some of my Steelers helmets I sanded down and repainted. Okay, here's another do-it-yourself. Oh my, look at this collection. So some of these he did not do himself, um, I would think, because they look, I don't know, maybe he did. The yellow one looks like an authentic to me. Some of them are clearly DIY helmets. First of all, your whole collection is just amazing. I can imagine the yelling and screaming and cheering that goes on in this room. He's got all those jerseys all in the same hanger, all facing the same way. More helmets back there on top of these nine that he's showing. Kevin, you have a football helmet collection that anybody would be proud to own. God, I love that yellow one with just the black. Next up is Jonathan C. And he sent a nice list of all of the stuff that he did and I'll Bring up some of it. It's a Riddell Speed Flex 2019 Denver Blue, hard cup chin strap, the SF 2BD CTX Navy Blue face mask, factory bumpers, Jags logos, and LTH is on the uh, back, and that's their team's mantra love, truth, and honor. And this is for the peanut bowl. It's an annual game to collect jars, I would imagine, of peanuts to feed children and probably a food pantry. Well, that's awesome. I hope you guys raised a ton of food. Goodness, Jonathan, are, are you all right? This, this helmet, you are probably in the 5'6 to 5'9 range, a heavy hitter as a running back. That, that's my guess. Did, it, did I nail that? My goodness, dude, this helmet looks like it has been through hell and back. 
and I love it. You set it up in this awesome locker with your jersey. Just hope you're okay, man. All right, next up is Joe R. And he says, my LSU helmet uniform I used to street perform. Oh, in the French Quarter, that's cool. Uh, it's a Riddell Speed replica. Um, he says with Riddell padding. I wonder if he either converted a replica to a padding or if he thinks a Riddell collectible is just called a replica. Um, I think it's actually an authentic helmet. Uh, front and back LSU bumpers, Louisiana State flag, Red American flag, his number 20 warning label, Grape Ape, Shock Visor, authentic LSU game pads, and a custom jersey. Yep. So if you haven't been in New Orleans before, I guess you should go. It's kind of like a rite of passage. It's interesting. It's interesting. Jay and I went last year for the national championship game where the Tigers beat the other Tigers. Um, this guy clearly is an LSU fanatic. That helmet looks awesome. And next up and last for the day is Jenna S. And here is a simple picture of a simple white Zenith helmet. It looks like the team would probably be called the Eagles. Nice blue face mask on there, banged up because it looks like it was painted instead of powder coated. If you want this thing to look spotless and clean, just send it to us and for 25 bucks, it'll come back looking brand new. I love the white face mask hardware. This, this helmet is used and abused. I wish that there was a slight write-up. I'm just curious to hear about Jenna. All right. And that's all that we got for today. We appreciate you guys sending in these pictures. And again, if you want to be on this show, just post and tag us in your favorite source of social media or take the best pictures that you can and email us at pics at greengridiron.com. We know you love these videos. We love the support. We rely on you to grow our channel and we thank you all so much. And until next time, cheers.